this book is 20 years in the making, traveling all over the world on the search for the world's largest freshwater fish. One of the most remarkable things about the book is it really is a journey. It's an adventure. And even as we were writing it, we didn't know how it would end. Every fish and every person that I meet has a story to tell. We take readers on a journey through time around the world to learn about these big fish, the rivers where they occur, the challenges they face. These aquatic ecosystems are a world apart. They're hidden from sight. What goes on underwater, a lot of times we don't understand, we don't know about. You know, these big fish, they highlight how little we know and how much there still is to learn. Around the world, there are 30 or 40 species of freshwater fish that grow over six feet long or weigh more than 200 pounds. These fish are more vulnerable. In most places, these big fish are indicators of river health. About 70% of them are at risk of extinction. The, the most important thing that we can do for these fish is to keep rivers healthy. I think my greatest achievement is increasing people's awareness about these fish. People care more about fish conservation. They care more about river protection. Every place that I work, I'm part of a team and we're working with local communities. This book is written from my perspective, but it took hundreds and hundreds of people to write this book. None of this work would have been possible without the University of Nevada, Reno and National Geographic. Stefan Lefgren, the co-author of Chasing Giants, I've worked with him for 15 years, and his experience really comes through and makes Chasing Giants a better book. Ultimately, this is about more than the search for the biggest fish. It was really a journey. It's about learning about these fish, raising awareness about the fish, appreciating them, and protecting them.